Hello, welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out from Japan to share with you. So we're going to shift gears a little bit away from the Russian Ukraine war just briefly in this video and also not talk about Israel. I want to talk about what's happening over here with China and Japan and the Philippines and just everything over here in the eastern and southeast China seas. So we have this major report coming out today that Japan has said that a Chinese military spy plane has violated the Japanese territorial airspace near the Donjo Islands. Now apparently this is the first time China has ever done this and they have been very, very provocative over in this region. Um, I've got some reports to go over regarding the Philippines as well because the Philippines and China has been clashing like crazy over in the South China Sea, Southeast China Sea, excuse me. And uh, it's just, it's getting very dangerous over here. And we're getting very, very close to a war breaking out uh, between China and multiple nations over here. And also we know that the United States has been doing military drills with Japan and also South Korea and uh, sometimes with the Philippines as well. So it's getting very hot over here and very tense. Tensions are soaring like crazy in this region. So I want to talk some more about this. I've got this article pulled up on the Japan Times. We're going to talk about this. Uh, this airspace violation first. So J uh, Japan says Chinese military violated territorial airspace for the first time. This just came out today. It says a Chinese military aircraft was confirmed for the first time to have violated Japanese territorial airspace on Monday morning, the defense ministry in Tokyo said, with Japan strongly protesting the move. The defense ministry said one of the Chinese military's Y-9 intelligence gathering planes had briefly entered Japanese territory near the Donjo Islands off Nagasaki Prefecture from around 11.29 a.m. to 11.31 a.m., prompting the Air Self-Defense Force to scramble fighter jets in response. The ministry said the fighters had taken such steps, such as issuing warnings, while NHK reported that no weapons or flares were fired. According to a map of the flight path provided by the Defense Ministry, the Chinese plane continued to circle in an area near the Donjo Islands for some time after leaving Japanese airspace. At around 5.20 p.m., Japan's Vice Minister of for for Foreign Affairs, uh, Maza Mazataka Okano, summoned the charge d'affaires of the Chinese embassy in Tokyo to the Foreign Ministry to deliver a solemn uh, protests and strongly request that the Chinese side prevent any reoccurrence, uh, recurrence, the ministry said in a statement. In response, the Chinese side said that it would report the matter to their home country. Okay, so we've definitely been seeing China be very, very provocative over in this region. Now they're starting to get aggressive with uh, Japan. So this is very, very dangerous what's happening over here. I thought I'd share some of that information with you. I will cite that down below in the description if you guys want to read some more of that. Uh, but we're going to hop on over to a map here now. Let me kind of show you. That way you can visually picture in your mind where this took place at. So we're going to zoom in over here to the East China Sea. So this, this is China over here. Here's Japan. Philippines down here. So over in the East China Sea, there's some islands over here called the Donjo Islands. There's several islands here. This says On Island and Mi Island. I'm not sure if that's the actual name, I would assume. Um, but there's a few small islands over here just to the west of where uh, you know the Japanese mainland is. And supposedly, the, this uh, spy plane was traveling just over these islands or very close to it, which is still considered Japanese uh, territorial airspace. Okay, so uh, very, very dangerous what we're continuing to see over here. And again, the United States has been doing lots of military drills with Japan, South Korea, and the Philippines down here. And they do a lot of these military drills in this area, which is also angering China and also at the same time angering North Korea. We're starting to see lots of provocative stuff coming out from North Korea. I think they were just testing some new attack drones that they were threatening to use on South Korea recently, uh, just in the last 24 hours. So this whole region over here, although everybody's paying attention to what's going on with Ukraine and Russia right now, and also Israel and, and uh, Hezbollah, Israel and Hamas, Iran, uh, there is a major war building up over here as well in the South uh, South China Sea and also the East China Sea. So it's getting very, very dangerous over here. And I want to show you guys a few more things coming out. Uh, we've got some stuff on X, and then we also have a few reports to go over as well. So let's hop on over to X real quick. We're going to switch gears now and talk about the Philippines because this relates to the uh, South 
South China Sea, very close to what's happening over in uh, in Japan. So I want to talk about this too, just because it's the same region. Vicegrad24 reported this just today, breaking 40 Chinese vessels, including six Coast Guard ships and three Navy ships, are blocking two Philippine Coast Guard vessels from resupplying the BRP Teresa Mag uh, Magban Nua patrol vessel near the Escota Shoal in the exclusive economic zone of the Philippines. So this has been going on for six plus months now. I've been reporting this quite a few times. Um, and this happens very frequently. Almost every week we're getting reports out here of major clashes between uh, the Philippine Coast Guard and the Chinese Coast Guard. Okay, And the Chinese Coast Guard is trying to prevent uh, the Philippines from resupplying military troops on certain islands in the South China Sea that China claims is their territorial waters, but at the same time, there's what is known as the exclusive economic zone that is recognized by the Philippines and the West that this is uh, this is you know the exclusive economic zone that basically any country can enter these waters, which is where uh, the Philippines is trying to go and resupply their troops. So I'll show you guys on a map here in just a little bit in case you're not really familiar with that, but take a look at this video. It's 30 seconds long. Okay, so I don't think we have any sound here, but we can clearly see, I believe this is a Filipino Coast Guard uh, boat being blocked here by multiple Chinese uh, Coast Guards. And we have been continuing to see this repeatedly for a very, very long time now. And I'm going to show you guys another video as well that uh, that shows basically these, these ships ramming each other. Okay, we've had pictures coming out also of uh, Filipino Coast Guard vessels being damaged, huge holes being ripped in the side of the ship. Okay, this is getting very, very close to something major happening, somebody being injured, and all of a sudden we may have a war breaking out uh, between uh, between China and the Philippines, and now also potentially uh, with Japan also. So this is getting very, very dangerous over here. So let's go ahead and keep moving. I've got this other post pulled up on X as well. The China Global South Project, China's Coast Guard said it rescued Filipino personnel who fell overboard Sunday after a Philippine vessel collided with one of its ships near a disputed shoal in the South China Sea. The Philippines ran, uh, slammed China's claims as completely unfounded. So take a look at this video. We're going to see uh, definitely these ships colliding here. So take a look at this. Okay, so we can clearly see over here it's getting very, very physical. These boats have definitely been ramming each other lately, and it's not just one side. Sometimes the Filipinos are ramming uh, the Chinese, and sometimes the Chinese are ramming the, the Filipinos. But what this looks like to me, I'm pretty sure, is the Chinese uh, vessel slamming into the Filipino Coast Guard. Okay, so uh, like I said, getting very, very dangerous over here. As we can see, this was yesterday, August 25th on the time clock on this video. So it's definitely getting very, very bad over here, guys, and it's continuing to worsen every single day. So I've also got a report. We're going to go over here just real quick on what the Philippines is coming out and saying in regards to these aggressive moves by the Chinese. So this is on Reuters. Philippines says China's South China Sea moves aggressive and illegal. Okay, this came out eight hours ago today, August 26, 2024. The Philippine government slammed China on Monday for repeated aggressive, unprofessional, and illegal actions in the South China Sea after a string of clashes and incidents on air and at sea over the past week. The Philippines National Maritime Council said Chinese aircraft made unsafe maneuvers against a civilian aircraft conducting patrols over the Scarborough Shoal and Subi Reef. This might be... Uh, as well, relating to these flares that we were hearing also, like I told you, we had some reports of flares being fired at some of the uh, Filipino aircraft in the area. On Sunday, Chinese vessels also blocked, rammed, and fired water cannons against a government fisheries vessel while doing a resupply mission to Filipino fishermen in Sabina Shoal. Uh, Sabina Shoal, it said, these actions are alarming, the Maritime Council said in a statement. 
It calls into question China's supposed commitment to de-escalate the situation in the area and create a conducive environment for dialogue and consultation, the, the council said. Philippines will added it will continue to pursue diplomacy and managing the maritime issues and urge China to return to the path of constructive dialogue on South China Sea matters. So, yeah, just like maybe a month or two ago, we heard that uh, that China, also the Philippines, had signed some sort of uh, declaration that they would basically not attack each other anymore. They would calm down tensions. And then all of a sudden, we're starting to see this ramp up again where uh, these two are now starting to be very aggressive with each other. But definitely we see China a lot, a lot of the times using water cannons, spraying these resupply boats as they're trying to come over here and just simply bring uh, weapons and gear and, and uh, supplies to their uh, troops in the area. So like I said, getting very, very dangerous and very close to a major conflict breaking out, which is why I want to cover this. So one last thing I want to show you, I've got this map pulled up to uh, kind of... Uh, describe to you and explain what's going on over here. So these are the different uh, zones that are claimed that this red line here is claimed by China, right? So they claim that they own almost the entire South China Sea, okay? And then also this purple line here is the exclusive economic zone that's recognized by the Philippines, okay? The uh, purple line here. So the Spratly Islands is where a lot of the times these uh, Filipino Coast Guard and um, these little shipping vessels that come from the Philippines over to here to try to resupply. This is where they get intercepted by the uh, Chinese Coast Guard. And then also over here, the Scarborough Shoal. We've uh, talked about some incidences happening over here as well. I think this is also where we had an incident where a Filipino uh, Coast Guard member lost one of their fingers. Apparently, there was some sort of uh, clash between the boats and their one of their fingers got taken off. So it was obviously... A very terrible situation there. We had very heightened tensions during that time. This was like several months ago. So obviously, like I said, guys, getting very, very dangerous over here and very, very close to a major war breaking out. And I wanted to share some of these details, let you know what's going on. And also the one of the biggest news that we had today, like I said, regarding Japan earlier, their territor territorial airspace being violated and having to uh, deploy some of their jets into the skies to intercept this spy plane coming from China. So I uh, just wanted to share some of this with you in case something happens over here, but definitely it is getting very, very tense and dangerous in this region. So let me know what you think down below. Share your thoughts, concerns, and opinions down in the comment section. That's going to be it for this update. If you got something out of this, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you with that. Hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.